Facing 0-7 Trinity International today. Plenty on the line for St. Francis. The Cougars looking to extend their 54-game home winning streak. And Daniel Carter with a chance to become the Cougars' all-time leader in all-purpose yards. It was homecoming over at Bishop Darcy Stadium on a chilly October afternoon. Carter needing just 128 yards to break uh, the record today. After a questionable fumble on the first possession, Carter makes up for it. Cuts back across the field, takes it 39 yards for the touchdown. Cougars up 7-zip. St. Francis then pours it on in the second quarter. Shane Tierney looking deep, connects with Brian Schultz on the 38-yard score. 21 zip at that point. The Cougars defense only allows 80 yards of total offense today for the Trojans. St. Francis never punted today and Carter gets the record. His second touchdown of the day goes for 30 yards. 143 all-purpose yards today. Cougars win big 63-7 the final. It's an honor. You know, uh, when I think of uh, Corey Jagway, him being number one uh, just a few hours ago on the top of the list. Uh, he's a wonderful guy. I talk to him probably every week. So uh, being in a category with him, doing doing something uh, that not many people has done, is it, it, great. We don't like either team, first, second, third, to uh, allow points, but it's going to happen. We have first unit. We've been scored on before. We know it's going to happen. So uh, overall, we're very, very happy with what happened today. 6-0 USF travels to Missouri University of Science and Technology next week, the first ever meeting between the two schools. Other scores today, Tri moves to 5-1 with a big win over Olivet. Kent Biller leading the way with 174 yards on the ground and three touchdowns. Try and host Kalamazoo next Saturday. And Ball State falls to 0-7 on the year, losing to Bowling Green 31-17 despite 115 rushing yards from Snyder grab McQuail Lewis.